Trooping the Color is a significant event in the British royal calendar, celebrating the official birthday of the sovereign. This year, the ceremony held special significance as Princess Catherine made a public appearance while bravely battling her illness. Despite her typically radiant and composed appearance, fans were heartbroken to learn that Princess Catherine had spent two hours applying makeup to mask the visible effects of chemotherapy. The treatment, which can cause hair loss, skin discoloration, and extreme fatigue, has been a challenging journey for the princess. However, her commitment to her royal duties and the desire to maintain a sense of normalcy for the public shone through her carefully crafted appearance. Catherine wore an elegant white ensemble that drew attention, but it was her hair that sparked the most speculation. Observers noted that her hair appeared darker and less vibrant than usual, leading to rumors that she was wearing a wig due to hair loss from cancer treatment. The newspaper quoted stylist Ruth confirming that Catherine did indeed wear a wig. The same source reported that it took more than two hours to apply makeup and prepare the Princess of Wales for the event. Additionally, many noticed that Catherine appeared more fatigued than usual, another side effect of her treatments. The public appearance of the Princess of Wales was met with widespread attention and concern. News of Princess Catherine's situation elicited an emotional response from fans and admirers worldwide. Meanwhile, Prince William's brother was reportedly not invited to this year's celebration. Harry was heartbroken and left upset and emotional upon seeing the footage of his sister at her first public appearance in months. He's been so worried about her ever since he received the news of her condition, and while he's managed to contact her on a few occasions, it's not nearly as often as he'd like. It was so painful for Harry to see all his family gathered for Trooping the Color and not be there with them. It makes sense that Harry feels sad when he sees his family together without him. Despite the tensions, they were all once close, and things have changed in a difficult way over the last few years. But Harry and his family have had ample opportunity to patch things up and have not taken them, which leads us to believe there might not be a future where Harry, his father, and his brother are close again. Many thought that Queen Elizabeth's death was an unfortunate event that would have brought them closer, but it didn't. Then King Charles' cancer diagnosis was another situation where the public thought things would get better, and they didn't. When Catherine revealed she was sick, it was yet another situation that could have been the silver lining of reconnecting, but it didn't. It points out that only one person could have changed this situation. Beyond his father, the closest people who have tried to reconcile them are their maternal relatives. Diana of Wales' siblings have made an attempt, but to no avail. Royal expert Jenny Bond is convinced that only Lady Di would have been able to step in and sort things out. Another topic discussed is that the Wales are unlikely to forgive the Sussexes. It mentioned the famous interview with Oprah Winfrey, their Netflix show, and Harry's biography as examples of actions that have exacerbated the situation. Because of all these accumulated incidents, even if Harry and his wife were to reconcile, William and Catherine would not be willing to accept it. Recently, this couple has made it clear that they want nothing to do with their brother. They have demonstrated this by avoiding meeting Harry when he has been in London and by not speaking out on issues related to them. If the situation is ever resolved, it clearly won't be anytime soon.